Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller. This video, as you can see, is a jewelry jar, or should I say jewelry jars opening. <laughs> so um, if let me just go over the details first. If you're interested in purchasing anything that you see in the video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always down in the description box. Please also check the sold list that I will have underneath this video down in the comment section before you email me. Um, let's see, shipping starts at $5 and I accept PayPal. And <clears throat> since it's a new week, if you would like me to hold your items until the end of the week so you can watch all my videos throughout the week and save on shipping, just please let me know in your email and I will just send you an invoice for your items and hold off on charging you for shipping and I'll also hold your items. So with that being said, oh, also give me a timestamp and a brief description of what you're interested in purchasing. And we're gonna do two today because I got these both at both at the same thrift store. And since they're kind of small, I figured we would do two in one. So this is a church thrift store that is, I would say about 10 minutes from my apartment. It's on the way to Dallas's daycare. And they have really weird hours. Um, I think they're open like one day during the week for a few hours and then they're open on Saturdays from 9 to 12. So it's kind of difficult for me to get there. If I remember on Saturday mornings, I go there but it's not very often. So anyway, um, this smaller one was seven and this larger one was nine. So let's go into the smaller one first. Um, you know what, oh, let me get my scissors. All righty tidy. And also before I actually get into this, let me just get it open first. I want to show you guys a, um, two jewelry little like storage thingamabobbers so that are for sale so this one first is by Pandora it's green uh, it's probably real leather and it's a zipper case and I got it at Goodwill as you can see there's the barb so um I do think it's brand new. It still has the silica thing in it. There's no, like, you know, sign that there was, um, you know, rings in here or anything. So it's really nice. You can even hold it like a wristlet if you wanted. Um, it zips all the way around. And I'm going to ask 20 bucks on this one. This, these are going for like a pretty penny online. I'm not really sure what this is for though. Maybe a bracelet or a necklace so you don't want to get tangled. You put it in here and wrap it around there. I don't know, but 20 bucks on this. I'll give you a quick measurement. Seven by three and a half. And then I have this one. Which is... Was this Betsy? I think it was just a no name. Yeah, I think it's just a no name, but it looks like a Betsy print. And you open it up and you have all your compartments here for your rings. You can put earrings in here. Uh, you can hang your necklaces and bracelets in there uh, and then pop it closed. This looks like it opens. Nope, it doesn't. So um, that's that one, and this one will be 15. And this one is larger. It's a, hear the plow. It's eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. All right, so 15 on this one, 20 on the Pandora. And let's start diving into this jar. How do 
do I open it? There we go. Okay. So I'm going to pour out, I guess, a little bit at a time. And then we will go through it. I, I kind of like that top. It's pretty cool. Then we will go through it piece by piece. All right, let's bring you guys back in. Now, this, this thrift store does have jewelry, but I never really look at it because it's at the counter. And you guys, I've talked about this before. I get really nervous looking at jewelry when the person, when the employee is like right there watching you. <laughs> but I do peek and I never really see anything that's worth it. So, yeah. All right, so this one is pretty worn. You can kind of see on the edges there. So, yeah, see the discoloration? So I'm gonna put this into craft. All the craft items are $1. That's actually, that would be a really cool piece to repurpose though. This is just a little seed bead <clears throat> bracelet, I mean necklace. It's in good condition, but it needs to be like, I don't know, re-stretched re, uh, or something. So I don't know if, I'll just put this into craft too. I think it got bent up when they shoved it in this little jar. <laughs> All right, this looks promising. This does not have a maker mark, but it's in good condition. It's like a um, gray metal, and it's got these little mesh rings. Some of them are a little bent weird, but I don't really think that's anything to worry about. It's still in nice condition. I can get you the measurement. So wearable length is 19 inches. And we'll just do $4 on that one. Okay, then we have a little bunching of, I don't know where the, here, where the center is, I guess that would be it, of some beads and dyed, well, I don't think, well, maybe they're dyed, but they're shell pieces. Not bad. Stretch is pretty good. So we will do $5 on this, it's cute. This, I don't know what that is. Oh, Pisces, there we go. I'm not a Pisces, so that wouldn't look familiar to me. <laughs> um, it's not really in the best of condition and it's just on this like dingy kind of rope. So we're gonna put that into craft. This, I don't know what you are. Maybe just a little handcrafted piece. But that's going to go into crafting as well. Let's dump out some more. Okay. Well, I was going to say this is pretty, but it is peeling on the back there. Yeah, look. That stinks, because this would have been a cute one. Okay, so that's craft. Let's look at this guy. Ooh, this guy's cool. I like him. There's very, very slight wear to the pearl, but everything else looks good. Let's do five on him. That's cool. I see a maker mark. Okay, this is just oop, a little peely. That's just Claire's, but it's pretty. Oh, it's a necklace. I thought it was a, <laughs> a doubled um, bracelet. So that's pretty. It's just a little bent out of shape. Um, it probably can be washed and then laid out flat so that it dries, you know, properly and in the right shape. Um, it's a, definitely a choker necklace, and we'll just do $3. I see a key. So this is pretty. It looks like it's in good shape. All of the rhinestones are there. Chain looks like it's in good shape. 
There is the um, extender. So this is a winner. 12 and a half inches wearable without the extender. And then the key itself is slightly under three inches, <clears throat> including the bail. So that's pretty. Let's do five on it. Now this I saw poking out of the side of the jar I wanted to definitely look at. So it says, I love you. It seems to be in good condition. There's very little wear on the back. Really nice for Valentine's Day coming up. This is a, this is a good shape. This is a good shape one. Now it's not magnetic, but I do not believe that this is gold at all. No, I just think it might have some type of aluminum in it, but it's really nice. And look at the um, pieces in between. They have like a leaf pattern on it. This one's nice, guys, very nice. It's seven, I would say it's seven inches, maybe seven and a quarter with the um, with the fold over. And let's do, let's do $10. Okay, this looks like just a little beaded, maybe hand done neck um, bracelet. They're all plastic. We're just gonna put that into craft. This looks cute. What is this? It's a bracelet. This is really pretty. There's no markings. The charms seem to be in pretty good shape, but the bracelet itself shows quite a bit of wear. It's seven inches, or you can make it six if you use this link here. Um, I'm just gonna do $3 since it's not really in the best of condition, but it's still cute. Okay, we have a little cross. That's actually pretty interesting, I like that. It looks like tree branches with the blue, that the blue tips, that's really nice. It does say something on the bale, so let's find my loop. Okay, so it says 800 and then 160 AR. So would that mean 800 silver? Um, I don't really know how to test for that because I only have testing for 925. So I don't even know if that would work. So I'm really not sure. <clears throat> if anybody has any um, advice on how I would, you know, know if this was real 800 silver, you guys can feel free to let me know in the comments. Maybe without the light. Let's see, 800. 160 AR. Sorry, my my uh, lamp over here is giving a really heavy glare. Um, this chain did not come on this, so I'm kind of I'm gonna hold off on this for now, and I'm gonna do some research, and maybe, you know what? Let's let's do a quick eBay search right now. So I would go on eBay and I would type in 800 silver. Oops, silver. Branch cross, maybe? Branch cross. And eh, we'll just start with that. Yeah, nothing. So let's do. I'm wondering if this blue is anything. It kind of looks like just enamel, but I will put on Pressy and we'll check it out. So I'm gonna just hold off on this until I can do some more research. If anyone has any information, please feel free to let me know in the comments section. <clears throat> 
This we're gonna put right into crafting because as you can see, we have some wear going on on this one. <clears throat> Excuse me, my, my allergies are in a bit of an uproar today. Okay, this looks like a piece of stone. It looks like it's genuine. Um, I'm not really sure what stone that would be. Maybe a moss agate or some type of jasper. I'm not really sure. So feel free to put in the comment section your thoughts. Um, if anybody wants it, I would do $2 just because it's a pretty hefty piece of stone. This is definitely glass. And I don't think that would be sterling. <clears throat> but we can check quickly. Um, wow. It might be. Let me see if I can get a better scratch. See, I don't know. It's kind of given me... Oh, you guys can't really see it. It's kind of turning like a slight blue. But I'm not really sure, so I'm not going to sell it as sterling. So we'll just do... Um, yeah, see, I don't think it is, because look. Eh. Alright, so this will just go into craft $1, and if it is sterling, well, you win. <laughs> Okay, so this is just a little, very lightweight. It's very tiny. Yeah, it's only 12 inches total. So that's not even gonna really fit around anyone's neck. I'm a 14 around my neck. So this is just gonna go into craft. It probably hung on a shirt or something. That's why it had two lobster clasps. All right, we have a little gold tone pendant on a gold tone chain. It's very long. It seems to be in good shape. 17 inches wearable. You can definitely double that. And we'll just do four on that. I think I need to get new batteries for Pressy already. She's, she's awfully slow. Starting up here. All right, this, these are faux, but they do have a nice weight to them. There's no clasp. You can kind of see the um, string tied there. 11 inches wearable, and we'll do four on those. Oh, that's cute. We have a little elephant with some stones, some halite, and probably dyed halite. It's a stretchy, so we'll do $3. All right, here's Pressy finally woke up. I think these are just gonna be... All right, well, it is showing up as glass, but it looks like it's just enamel. That's pretty interesting. All right, well, like I said, I'll do more information. I'll do more research, but that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool find. We have this little guy. He's just going to go into craft. This is pretty, but it's super worn, so that'll be craft. Express, but it's again, it's very worn, so that'll be craft as well. Okay, well, that's the end of jar number one. Um, I mean, I'll look into this jar because this looks pretty old. And maybe I'll sell it in my antique booth. <laughs> but if anyone's interested, let me know. I'll probably do like six bucks on it or something for you guys. All right, so now let's take a little look-see into the larger jewelry jar. Oh, 
All right, let's dump her out. Well, some of it. What is this? That looks like a piece to a um, nativity scene, <laughs> right? That's awfully strange to be in here. It's glass. Very weird. So I don't know, that'll go into craft. <laughs> Maybe someone can make a cool bracelet out of that or something. This looks, eh, we'll put that into craft as well. Not looking too promising on these jars here. This might be jade, so let's check. It is, so that's cool, all right. These probably are too then. Maybe some Jasper. And I think that's a dolphin. So we will do, let's just do $6 on it. We have some awesome and, you know, in almost every jewelry jar. Why aren't I focusing? Focus. No? No? Maybe? Maybe not. There we go, sorry about that guys. Um, yep, so those are going into craft. We have a little shark tooth necklace. I don't know, we'll just do two bucks on that. A lot of these are so like bent up. Um, these are probably jade. Yep, tis correct. But it's all bent up, so we'll just do $3 on that. This is cute. There's no maker mark, but the end caps are really nice. I like that. It's a, uh, got an extender. All the beads are plastic, but it's multi-strand. It's got like the twist going on here. It's in good condition. As it sits, it's seven inches um, wearable, but then you have the extender. So we will do $5. This, okay, this is two strand, a black metal with all of these plastic, yep, plastic beads. And one layer is slightly longer than the other. It's actually, it looks like it's in good condition. It just might need a little wipe down. Oh, there's a little bit of wear. But overall, I think it's nice. Um, it's gonna be a 20 inch wearable to the longest and 17 um, to the other length. And since there is a little bit of wear, we'll just do $4. Ooh, I see some fuzz. Look at that. You see that? Eek. Yeah, it's a spider. <laughs> Yuck. Thanks for putting your belly button lint in my jewelry jar. <laughs> okay. I guess we can just dump the rest out. And I'll just put it off to the side and pull pieces one at a time. Okay. So we have a plastic cuff. It's white, it's dirty, it needs to be cleaned up. But if anyone's interested, it's a six and a half inch and we'll just do $2. This is just a, hi, there's some wear to the gold tone. It's blue and red and gold tone, but the gold tone beads have some wear, so that's going into craft. Geez, will I even make my $16 back? <laughs> um, that doesn't say anything. These are just plastic. They're like a purple, but then they have this little like swoop of pink in there. So this will also be crafting. This is a crafter's delight video. 
Okay. Nothing I can see on here. I also, guys, have two more jewelry jars that I got at two different places. So um, if you're not subscribed, do that right down here and you can press the bell to all and you'll be notified when those videos come out because I'll probably do one tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, yeah, this, I was going to say this is, this one's good, but can you see the gold tone loss? So that's going to be craft as well. This I had high hopes for, but... I can see the wear on the facets. See it? And they're just plastic. So that's a bummer. It's really long. Craft. Don't forget to check the sold list, if there is one, <laughs> in the comment section down below. Like I said, though, this will be a really great video for all my crafters and repurposers out there. This is plastic, um, but it's in good condition. It's a little bent up. Eh, I'll just put it out a dollar. Nope. So, yeah, a dollar on that. These are faux, but they mm, craft. Ooh, this is a pretty color. All right, so we have a little hidden um, screw barrel clasp here. Really like the color on this. They're plastic with the gold in between. Looks like it's in good condition. 12 inches wearable. I'll just do $4. That's a hair on there. I'm throwing that out. <laughs> okay, well that looks like it's missing something. Yeah, so that's gonna that's missing the it would have had like a pretty um, maybe flower there or larger pearl, which stinks because this would have been a nice piece. But if you can find something to replace that in that spot there, this would be very cute. Seven inches total. And I'll just do a dollar since it's missing it, missing that little piece. Okay, this is plastic. And it's also craft. All right, look, I found, I think this is the only pair of earrings in here. They look like they're in good condition. They're kind of like a twisted hoop. So they, in your ear, they would look like that. These are nice, so um, I would do $4. Oh look, we have a little, maybe agate slice. Pretty. They drilled all the way through so you can have a nice chain. The chain is nice. No maker marks, but really cute. It's eight inches wearable without the extender. Oops. It actually looks a lot better in person. The camera is not really picking up. It's a lot more see-through in person. So let's do five on that. And this is Nine West. Um, it looks like it's in good shape. So you got all these little satellite beads here. It's a silver tone necklace. And then you got gold tone and gunmetal. So this is good. You can probably even double it. It's 20 inches wearable. And we'll do five on that. All right, guys, this is the last piece. What are you? Are you one, one strand? Yeah. 
So your one long strand, silver tone, good condition. This looks like it might be jade also. Yep. So really pretty. I like these little danglies. You got some mother of pearl. These look like they're just plastic maybe. You got your jade. You got these little spinnies here. Really pretty necklace. I like this one. I'm glad we're ending on this necklace. It's very pretty. It is 19 inches wearable, but it does have an extender. So let's do seven on this one. All right, that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I know it was kind of short, but um, it it wasn't they weren't terrible. I mean, they were all right jars. Um, hopefully, this will be our winner. Um, but like I said, I'll have to do more research, but thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Give me a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.